Hey Beth. Hi Beth. Hey Beth, Jack here. Hey Beth, this is May. Hello Beth. Hey Beth, it's Nico here. Hi Beth. Hey Beth. Hi Beth. Hey Beth. Hi Beth. Hey Beth. What up Beth? I'm good. Hi Beth. Hey Beth. Hey Beth. Hey Beth. Hey Beth. It's Ian here. Hey Beth. Hi Beth. Hello Beth. It's been really nice meeting you and knowing you throughout the past few months. Just wanted to wish you the very best as you head back off to the UK. We're going to miss you here in Sydney, Australia, but we hope you've had a great time. It's been great getting to know you. You bring great energy to every single Run Suck event. Um, so I wrote you an acrostic poem, which I'll read for you. And it's basically just describing all of the things, my favorite things about you um, that I've gotten to know over the past, like, I don't know, two months, three months that we've known each other. It's been great getting to know you over the last few months. It's been good to see you make so many friends throughout the year in Run Club and Run Sock. So B is for beautiful person, which you are, but British, which you unfortunately also are. We've had some good lush times these past nine months. One that does stand out has to be your support towards my road to this, my 250th park run. After all, park run was where we first connected. And it's funny, I still remember the very first time we met. It was at Tuesday Bagels and Oscar Bell comes up to us and he says, is running bad for your knees? And you and I, we look at each other and we say, I think it is. We both have a bit of a chuckle over that moment, but I'm sure it's one of the many amazing experiences and times that you've had at Sydney. We hope to see you again in the future. Best of luck. Um, e is for elegant and intelligent. So see, it rhymes there and it's very true. You know, first class honors, let's go. In terms of first impressions, I I didn't know you. I met you at the Rhodes picnic um, in December. I'm really glad we had a small chat together. I found you to be really friendly, really approachable and really curious as well. And um, having not known you and having that two minute chat with you, I invited you to a walk and I think that speaks for itself. I think my first impression of you was at Bagels, uh, where you were like standing in the corner with Rosa. Um, and I just thought, wow, she's so cool and lovely. Um, that hasn't changed. And good luck with uh, the future. Um, I'll miss you. And let's catch up before you leave or potentially overseas, if possible. Um, T, truthfully, very funny. I, I will hand you the mantelpiece of Strava Queen. It was awesome getting to know you this year, both with the cable group and through RunSock. Um, I really enjoyed the time that we got to hang out together, even though there wasn't as much as there could have been, which is my fault for always sleeping through bagels. And it's been good to hang out with you on the wings during last day. Um, you've always been a very clear communicator, and it's interesting to hear what you say. Um, Best of luck in your studies in the future and hope you have fun back home. Really fun playing Oztag with you and I'm looking forward to running Bay to Bay with you this morning. Have fun back in the UK and Bristol and we'll see you in a few months time back here in Sydney. I remember the first time I met you, we were talking about how short my time in Australia was and how much that sucked. But I guess it's your turn to leave now. So um, yeah, hopefully you can remember all the good times and have a safe trip home, and best of luck with whatever you choose to do next. Um, you're gonna smash it. Bye. And H for honestly, just a lovely person, which you are. So yeah, miss you very much, but hopefully see you soon. Bye. I'm so sad you are gonna leave the country soon, but I'm happy we've made memories, especially through hiking dishes. But you were always so mean to me, but then to be fair, without your roast, your wit, your scathing quips, and just like your straight up audacity, you wouldn't have made such a great ultramathon running coach. So, I guess you can be mean to me sometimes. Nothing will top the trio of me, you and Roja. I'm here in Phuket, Thailand right now, you better come one day. Um, best of luck wherever you go, I'm sure you'll be amazing. And hopefully see you in Phuket or the UK or Australia one day again. So, my first impressions of Beth, I guess she was studying like computational chemistry or something, so yeah, I think, yeah, nice choice. I think we both don't like the lab, so yeah. Congratulations on graduating and I can't wait to see you again soon.
Bye bye. I'd like to wish you all the best for whatever comes ahead, if that brings you back to Australia or if that's somewhere else in the world. And hopefully we'll keep in touch and see each other again sometime soon. That you're really open-minded. I think you've made the most out of Sydney. And I think all of us can learn a lot about how to explore a new place and just that, that attitude that you carry, that energy that you have. And we can learn a lot about ourselves and how we even explore our own city. So yeah, overall, I'm really glad that I met you. My favorite thing about Beth is how much of an easygoing and lovely person she is. She seems quite happy to get to know everybody around her. And I think everybody is grateful for that. And I say, you've been a pretty fun hiking buddy so far. Yeah, and one of those few that, you know, actually does compliment the wacky and crazy videos that I make, so I'm really appreciative of that, I'm really thankful for it. One of my favourite memories of us is when I dragged you guys out to put I for the coastal run. I'm so happy that you guys came with me the night before, the shed, the pasta. It was such a great event. Thank you so much for coming out there, and I can't wait to see you back on the trails with me sometime soon in the future. You've been an important member of the Hiking Beaches. You've been to like 10 walks with me and drink all the sick views and I will always cherish the moment whenever I make jokes about British food and British weather and you always respond in a witty and sarcastic manner. It's been great having you as part of RunSock this last year. You've left a lot of really lovely memories with all of us and I'm really glad that RunSock could be such a big part of your experience in Australia. I hope to see you again soon. Your kindness and relatability in your stories have been something I've really enjoyed. It certainly taught me some valuable life lessons too, so a big thank you for this. Have a blast back in the UK. I'm really going to miss you, but I also can't wait to see you again when you're back. We'll talk soon. See ya! I just hope you have a good time back home and have a safe trip. There are so many moments I want to relive. Any time we spam the bagels group chat, the TikToks we sent to each other, but also the time that you said something mean to me and I forgot what it was. And then I told you this and you were flustered for days. And then I remembered what you said that was mean to me. And I told you, I'm like, oh, you were mean to me about my finger guns. And then you looked me dead in the eye and you were like, finger guns are lame, Thomas, and you should feel bad for having posts with them. And I was just like, but then you did make it up to me because you said I was cuter than every single dog in existence, so. Sad to see you go, farewell. Um, but I'm sure you'll be back in Sydney in no time. Um, congrats on graduating and also smashing that 145 barrier at the Bay to Bay. Um, good luck for your future endeavours and yeah, catch you soon. Again, I really hope that you come back super soon as well. Um, we'd love to spend more time with you and it's really sad to see you go. Bye. I really enjoyed getting to know you and our conversations. Hope you have a fantastic time back at home and possibly see you next year. Um, congratulations on your graduation. Um, so it was lovely to see you uh, doing this year for um, coming to Runsog and we enjoy running with us all the time at bagels, at Fridays and also on the weekends. So hope to see you soon. See ya. I wish you all the best in the UK for the next three, four months, at least between the sixth and the ninth month of the year. And hope to see you back in October. Bye. The passion you have for academics paired with your loving personality, you have so much to offer this world. And whilst running does in fact suck, it sucked a whole lot less running with you. Actually, you know what's a bit corny? Cut that in the edit. Here's to many more adventures um, and other places you'll run through. Um, we'll all miss you at Runsock and Bagels. And um, next time I go to UK, I'll see you at the cup of tea.